Hey, welcome back to another video where I catch you guys up on today's news and season of discovery. So jumping right into it, we'll jump into some of the hot fixes, a lot of things that you might care about. Um, increase the number of Firelands invaders and all the other spawns there for Black Rock Eruption. That's pretty big because um, they're already kind of crazy. <laughs> And then uh, they made some updates to the Devil Core legging patterns that can drop additional sources other than King Mosh now, so you can get it from more places. It's going to be really good because the fire resistance gear is super expensive. Um, another big change they made, Burning Essences will now drop in the Dark Coffer and uh, Black Rock Depths always there. And Librem of Resilience now drop or have an additional drop chance from certain bosses in Black Rock Depths and Black Rock Spire, which is super good as well. Um, then if you care, you can now mount with your Gift of the Gob and go into Stealth, so you can primarily be a goblin if you really want to. And then in the biggest news yesterday, the Molten Core dropped. So big changes that were updated in the Season of Discovery. Now there's three different heat levels there that you can enter the dungeon at. Um, heat level one is basically just like regular MC. Um, they've added, I believe, the different changes from Season of Mastery there. So there are videos that will go over the changes from Season of Mastery. They aren't too crazy. Um, heat level two there, same as Heat level one, except you're going to need more fire resistance. Same with Heat level three. You're going to need a ton of fire resistance. As far as we know, um, especially in Heat level three, if you don't have 226, heat resistance you're you're immediately dead you're just immediately dead there's <laughs> you'll get uh you'll you'll get flamed or you'll get hit by a, a fire fire attack and then if you you'll have a chance to die essentially that's about as much as i know um but yeah when you do into these higher heat levels there's no like better gear but you do get more gear so um, another thing is you can go above 20 people in your raid. You can still go up to 40 people in your raid for Anixia even and Molten Core. Um, so always remember that. The coolest thing that I like that they added is now there's unique was weapon cosmetics. So some of the weapons are like enchanted to have, you know, these fire enchants on them. They're all glowy there. So that's super cool. Um, and there's also a secret extra boss there at the end as well. Um, so one guild already did complete heat wave three there. So big congrats to them. They did it on the day one. Um, they did do it or congrats to none of the above. That is the guild Nota. Yeah. Big congrats to them. Um, they did some pretty, pretty interesting, uh, mechanics here that they, they utilized a weak aura that tracked the cooldowns of their domain trinkets. So they'd all stand in the domain, and that gives them 50 fire resistance, which is huge there. So they probably just continuously keep popping those trinkets there. They have plenty of fire resist, and that made the fight easy for them. Um, you can get the trinket there from the Hydraxian Warlords once you get exalted. Um, the way that they did do this is, he talks about it in this video, but essentially here... Um, in the burning steps, there are multiple different spawns of the, I guess it, it's kind of like a, kind of like a raid boss. Um, but he drops 50 rep each time. And so I guess they farmed the crap out of that boss until everybody had exalted reputation with the Hydraxian Warlords, which is pretty crazy to do. Uh, but there's like six different spawns of this giant raid mob. If you've been to the burning steps, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's like the spawn of Gar or something, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, one there. I think there might be a couple more, but there's plenty to kill there. Um, and then, yeah, the secret boss, if you don't want to know, look away. <laughs> um, spoiler alert, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's literally just the Molten Core itself. So, uh, you finally actually get to kill the molten core and defeat the molten core and you can have that <laughs> achievement <laughs> kind of silly but uh it's got four million health and a resource ball Blech. bar that slowly fills up huh and it does different attacks and obviously if you don't have the fire resistance you'll die instantly it doesn't look like a crazy fight 
but uh, who knows? It's only got three different abilities. And then in other news, the 20 slot bag, bottomless bag, there has been added to the lost and found vendor there. Um, so you should be able to get your 20 slot bags now. That's pretty sweet. I think I'm still rocking 16 slot bags. Not very much. I need bigger bags. That'd be nice. Um, oh, yeah, this was huge news there. The Blizzard developers form World of Warcraft Game Makers Guild Union. So Union is pretty huge for World of Warcraft. Um, now that they're owned by Microsoft, especially. Um, I guess it'll help protect the devs and the players a little bit more. As far as I've seen people talk that this is actually a good thing for the game there because then they're not going to be in my mind they're not going to be as pressured by the makers or the ceo or essentially the the shareholders of the game that are like you know we need to see profits we need to see numbers we needed this has got to be that 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 hopefully this will give them more room to actually be more creative and maybe extend their um you know creative reach or even time that they might need to be making video games um with their job so should be a good thing there um as far as i can see and then of course you get your account wide nxe attunement there so you can go talk to one of the vendors there and you can get your account wide necklace there um, for your alt. And I think the vendors are just in Stormin or yeah, Stormin Gates for Alliance and Thrall's Room for the Horde. Yeah, you'll be able to find that. And then there's also a Warrior Oni buff. Purchable from the NPC by Stormin Gate for the Alliance. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Valor of Azeroth. We like that. That's sweet. More buffs. More buffs. Um, yeah, let's go check out the Reddit there. Um, <laughs> that's another thing I was mentioning. Yeah, the, uh, the Molten Core raid size is more than 20. You can go up to 40, man, there. So that's really good. Um, some guy here, Aqueous Bottle, he was, he, he was lucky enough to get two bindings of the Windseeker from one Molten Core raid. That's a, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good drop, brother. Good luck with that. And yeah. Other than that, there is this fun little clip here from uh, Gordon Ramsay Gaming. This guy's name's Gordon Ramsay Gaming. <laughs> His name's Gordon Ramsay. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like he got a little uh, a little debuff from MC. Yeah, he's just going to kill everybody. <laughs> there's always crazy stuff going on in the horde cities yeah uh thank you for watching leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think um are you having fun in sod in this phase um i am i've been playing i think i have like three or four almost four full days of playtime now already just for this season or just at level 60 anyway so i've been playing a lot but i also play while i work from home so i'm just kind of sitting in ultra valley running around uh but yeah appreciate you guys watching hope you have a great rest of your day we will see ya